Here I am playing Gaia Project against the Atama. Who knew? I am playing Gleans against Itars. Um, I am going to play against the Ultoma Atama. I didn't get the cards out yet, but that's what I'm going to do. Playing Gleans is probably not the best time to 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 pick a Oh shit, I did this stupid. All right, I need to go find 9 and 15. Uh yeah, playing gleans is not the best time to 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 change up the difficulty level of the Atama. We'll see what happens. Um I have almost no experience playing gleans in any variation of Gaia Project against the Atama. I mean, I've played played against the Atama sometimes before I uh started before I ever heard of tabletop simulator um, so yeah this won't go down whatever <coughs> um, I've played gleans once or twice literally I think once or twice I don't think I'm pretty sure I've I'm sure I've played gleans at least once and I'm pretty sure I have not played gleans more than twice ever I know that gleans are pretty bad, and um, I thought that this setup might be kind of favorable for gleans. There's a bunch of things, including early Gaia planets, but a bunch of these, um, <coughs> yeah, a bunch of these, these, um, the the rewards uh, for this game seem to favor gleans somewhat. And uh, most buildings in Federation, the special Federation token won't help with that. I don't know if I'm going to compete with this one at all. The other, uh, the other faction I really thought about here was was Ivits. I think Ivits are very strong against the Atama because the Atama is never going to block you. And I also don't play again. I don't play as Ivits very much either. Uh, another faction I've played once or twice really in in all games even though I have quite a number of playthroughs against both against the Atama and against people both the Ivits and the Gleans are factions that I I really haven't touched very much along with Lantids I know I played Lantids in person with three other players once I think I did quite well that game. I really, uh, it was a setup that favored Lantids very well. I don't remember it that well. Anyway, um, yeah. So, mm, when I decided to play yellow, my opponent was white because of the locations of the white planets right next to the yellow ones. And that means that there might not be the most contrast between these colors, especially for me, where I'm using um, <coughs> Flux to turn down the brightness of my computer. I don't know if, if you guys see that or not. I really, I don't know that. <coughs> All right, let's get started. Where is he going to build first? There's no way for me to know. Where want, might I want my federations? So I want to be building on brown and, and orange. And that's not necessarily convenient at all. I'm also going to be spamming these Gaia planets. So I'm not sure where my federations are going to be. <coughs> it looks like there'll be well, like one maybe in this area, maybe this thing, and then there's probably one up here. I don't need to get like span a large area. I just need buildings in my federations. So I might have a lot of little buildings, and I need to have Gaia planets. So let's uh, I don't know. Let's go here. Why not? No, oh, I didn't give myself any.
any regular stuff. I don't start with any. Oh, I do start with this. Yeah, this is important. This gleans pretty important. <coughs> do my opponents start with attack? No. Uh, what do the Itars actually do with their faction action? Oh God. <laughs> All right. Come on, shuffle. I feel like the the Itars are like pretending to be the um Yetis. Here's a big Yeti dude. Okay, the he starts the game by upgrading, and where does he upgrade? He upgrades in... I picked the right direction. Yay. All skill. 100% skill. I should probably take some tokens. I don't start with an, a cube because I don't have cubes. But do I start with a thing? Just regular, regular old start with seven workers. Awkward. One of many reasons why factions are bad. Lower starting resources. I just basically lost this worker that every other faction gets access to just by playing this faction. Even Lantids has that. And Lantid starts with 13 money for no reason at all, but they at least have this cube. I mean, two money? Would you rather have two money or one worker? You'd rather have one worker in 100% of situations at the start of the game. <coughs> yes, the two money can be limiting for some things, but... I mean, Lantid's just spams mines anyway, at the beginning. And then they want to get their stronghold, and then they want to get their research, and so on. Um, okay. Oh, it's my turn. Uh, so we definitely want this, and this is not going to come from a tech tile. Because our tech tiles can be so many useful things that are not this. Although this might not be terrible eventually. Yeah, it'd probably be bad. Uh, let's go ahead and just do this. Pretty urgent. And it begins. I did not remember that the Itars do this shit where they take the two power actions. That's really fucking annoying. Okay. These two. Oh my god, they took the workers? Are you kidding me? And they get an obscene number of points. This game may, may go very... Maybe a short game. Or a long game. Depending on how you look at it. I should probably pay for the trading post. And I'll pay for the temple that I'm about to build. What do I want? Workers probably. Workers probably going to be the most useful thing. Um. I mean, there's all these Gaia planets that are in very convenient positioning. There's as many transdims, more transdims, than there are Gaias. Uh, but are we going to get to this later? One or two of them, maybe? This is interesting. I want to have these things set up. I think the opportunity cost is very high. But maybe it makes sense to build the academy at this point, and then um, start start doing that.
these, this is an interesting choice. You don't usually have to have to make this kind of choice. I am leaning towards towards workers. I think I think that that's good. And what do I want to go up? I could actually go here. Um, yeah, you never want to do that, but he took this thing, so sure. That'll allow me to get some, some mines out this turn. He builds. Uh, let's not forget. Okay. Uh, there are no victory conditions that matter. Or else he would probably build in my Gaia's. Uh, he may build in my Gaia's anyway. Because he's a jerk. <coughs> well, I'll get at least one. Okay, so he wants to be as close to me as possible. And then he w wants to be... No, he wants to be on the, the easiest terrain possible. Which is going to be Gaia's. Uh, or this. Actually, this is where he's going to build. Because he wants to be next to me. This is closer than this Gaia. That's really convenient. And I charge power. I also charge power from the time I did that previously, but didn't have any power tokens. And I give him his point. Yeah. So... That's terrible. <laughs> I literally don't get any of these, because... Oh, I should have one more worker, shouldn't I? The reason I should have one more worker is because this thing is converted to a worker. So that's two workers and two ore. One to terraform, one to build, and two... Two workers and two money, I mean. And two points and three points. The two points from Glean's faction ability. One point and he cheats by doing a thing. That's not a very important thing though. Okay. If I had one more worker, I could upgrade a trading post, which would be very, very nice. Um... If he gives me... I mean, I, I can't take this action because he's a jerk, but if he gives me one power, I can do that. I could also burn. That doesn't seem good, but I could do that. Um, I can't not build here, though. There's just too many, too many reasons to do it. And we should definitely hope that he will do something other than this. Five from the right. We're competing. And he gets a point. 
point, right? I don't know if I gave him two points there. Did I give him two points there? Unfortunately, he didn't give me power, so I don't have anything to do. I'd really like to have three money instead of nothing. I really, really, really would like that. Because I have no money income. So I can do this. This feels terrible. This feels terrible. Do this one. No, let's do this. I don't know. It's fine, I guess. not pass. He goes up. Of course. I'm going to pass at this time. Oh, I didn't get a bonus tile because I didn't even think about this. I don't know. That'll be useful. Let's say that we had that. So this is what our power situation would look like. Because we didn't do anything. So I'm going to return this. Uh, yeah, this is a little bit of an oversight. I didn't look at any of the bonus tiles at all. <laughs> I didn't play the game with a bonus tile. Slightly gimped. That might be why I felt like I was a little bit behind. I swear I, I know the game. Like a little bit. Okay, so I can't have this. It's kind of fine. You know, I need money. Like knowledge is good and all. Doesn't doesn't get me to like immediately have a thing to do, but I need money. Need money. One, two, three, four, five, and then a charge. <coughs> he takes this again. He's got two of these already. He's got two of these, so I'm like never gonna be able to take any power actions ever. Yeah, that's a random. Okay, four, and this doesn't matter because he's. <coughs> I'm not taking any more actions because I passed. You could just get more of these tokens because we'll need them. We'll need infinity of them. OK, 
I went first. Uh, hard to see. <coughs> yeah, I have a, not much of a turn right now. What's the bonus this turn? Oh, he got two points. Teching up? That's not something I'm going to do. <laughs> Even once. But you know what we need? We need um, we need money. We need money more than worker income right now. And the only other thing I'm going to do this turn at all is probably like take a power action, if given the opportunity. Um. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll just blindly charge power. I don't know what I want to do with it. I don't need this no more because that thing's in the game. Um, I'd like to take like something that gives me some help. But I don't have anything to do. I could build a mine if there were a mine to build on in range. There is not. And I don't have a cube, but I do have uh, the possibility of getting this at some point. Oh, he didn't take a new tile. The first one. Sweet, a potentially useful tile that he took. Um, this is lame. Very lame turn. But, uh, pass? <laughs> what the fuck else am I going to do? Burn a power? That, 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 that is not worth doing. Um, next turn is build an academy. Academy is where I want it, not this. Although power is charging power is good. <coughs> uh yeah, I'd like to have these. That'll pick me up this. So my original plan was to start maybe doing guys the next turn after that with these. Uh, will I have enough power to do that? Probably, yeah. So I could pick this up. Um, but I'm going to have nothing else going on. But maybe that's okay. Like, this economy is kind of solid. Except for the knowledge part. The knowledge income is, is not, not good. I don't have either of these tracks to give stuff and it would be very nice to have knowledge. I don't know how to do about that. H him going here kind of fucked me earlier because then I wouldn't have to go up this track to do my turn that didn't result in me getting an academy on turn one. Alright, well, this guy will take some turns. Oh, so what do I want to do in order to facilitate my building an academy next turn? Um, it looks like I'll be okay, except for needing to have one worker. 
but of course I can always take this. What else might I want to do next turn, in addition to building the academy? Uh, building mines would always be good. At least having... I could charge power this way and it wouldn't be bad. Um, I could also go up there. Probably this and not this. What do these do? This is not so good. This might be good. This is... Mm, yeah, no. <coughs> it's unfortunate. The advanced tech tiles are not necessarily placed super well to, to help me get stuff done. In terms of actually scoring points, I don't know. Maybe we'll get to here at some point later on. Maybe we'll get to here at some point later on. I don't know what else I want to do. Drop one of these. Drop one of these at range. It seems decent. I don't need this. He took this one, which would be pretty nice. Alright, so he has a bunch of turns that he's going to take. He wants to build on nothing. Um, he wants to build on a planet type that's nearby him. Uh, white is next to gray or blue or Gaia's. This is more near to me than this Gaia. This is not near me. Actually, this is his easiest choice. Should he have built there last time? No, because he was here. But this is now where he builds. I feel that I should take power. I will not be taking any more power, because it's all going to be here at the uh, beginning of next turn. Fuck it, don't. What? Kidding me? <laughs> Four from the left. This doesn't matter which actions he takes, he gets four points. Okay. He's going to upgrade the closest thing to me, which is this or this, uh, in this direction. So he does this. Either one, I'm not charging power. He could pass. He does not. He advances this. He could pass. He does not. He advances this. He could pass. He does not. I'm noticing a pattern here. <coughs> the actions he chooses are irrelevant, but he gains four points. Uh, well, he's had pretty good luck on his actions so far, if I don't say so myself. the third one. And I'm still going first. One, two, three, seven. I took that. I took that. Poor knowledge income. This 
might be the only time I get to take this action all game if he just spams all the actions. He's gonna upgrade. Uh, this time he's gonna upgrade that because it's closest to me. No, I want to take power now. Uh, probably not because I want to. Well, actually, yes, because I'm gonna go up this one, and then I want to drop this. Oh, how many points does he get? He gets two points for that. Something I didn't do at all last turn. Yeah, this is gonna let me get more more things to spend if I take it. <coughs> because I'm gonna pick up this charging tile with my academy. No reason to beat around the bush and not do this right now. I wonder if maybe I should actually build the research one and forget about these forever I'm making I'm gonna be making good worker income I can colonize all these these will only be these will not be that helpful for range because I'm in okay position to actually be in range of the things I need to be in range of maybe it won't get there in a, a good time but I will be able to to just spam a bunch of things. Like, it's not so bad. I better take this as my my thing for this turn and then I'll be able to get there and everything everything is is, is tractable here. That's not me. Fuck. <coughs> In order to expand this range well, I'll be building here this turn. It seems feasible. It seems like I should be able to do this. This may be a really bad idea. This is a worker income after all, too. But I feel like the knowledge, I need that. And I don't necessarily need the other one in order to have an economy that might be able to win me this game. As the one of the things about this game, right? Decent players look at what economy they're going to be able to build. Good players look at w the objectives and what economy they need to facilitate those objectives. That's something that I read about Terra Mystica and tried to apply to my games of of this game and Terra Mystica. <coughs> after I saw that. Okay. Um, yeah, I built an academy. Let's pay for an academy. And I don't foresee everything, but I kind of see this working out. Who knows about the point gap, though? He's gonna build. Is he gonna take my stuff? He doesn't care about Gaia planets yet. He's gonna build within four range. Can he find a, a nice white planet within four range? No, unfortunately, this looks good. This is also something he could build on. Uh. He's not going to build here. But if I get really lucky, he could build here instead of here. And then I would be lucky. Um, he could actually build... Th this is No, he's going to build that. No, that's that's not me. Okay, I'm here. He, yeah, so here and here. He can't build here. This is him. This is closer to me. So this one is closer to me. It's just this, isn't it? Sweet. Yeah, that's not far. That's farther from me. This is not a favorable terrain. Uh, these are all farther from me. So he just builds this. Uh, I'm taking power again. I think so. You get 
minus one point. Don't think so. Maybe he did. I think maybe he did. I think I did give that. Let's get some spoils. I'm definitely going to take the knowledge action. And probably this one because it's more efficient resource wise. Four from the left. Two points. Maybe just this. Oh, I got one to keep. I don't want to do like do any terraforming. What could I do? I could do this with fire, but then I don't have enough to take this knowledge action. Do one terraform step here? That's a possibility, actually. Maybe that's better. I have enough to do that. Yeah, I should have enough to do that. All right. Let's try that instead. And hope he doesn't take this action, which is a very real possibility. I'll have to take this instead if he does. And I'll be very sad. Mm, maybe not that sad, but pretty sad. <coughs> Did I just pay for this? I definitely didn't. Okay, he didn't do that. Sweet. He just does this. Definitely don't care about the tile. Doesn't look like I'm going to get the lost planet. Mm, the lost planet doesn't greatly matter, although it could throw itself into a federation, potentially. This last one is just money. <coughs> Okay, what's white and what's yellow? This is, these are whites. Well, I declined power here because this is pointless. Actually, it's not pointless. I'll take five points for building my academy, though. It's not pointless because I still have six here. Which I'll utilize immediately so that I can take advantage of some power that he might give me. No, I don't want that one. I want this one. That's good because I'm not in range of this one, but I would have retconned it so that I had built this thing first instead of this if I had needed to be in range of this. Although that would be a problem because of the terraforming order, so it's good that I don't need that. Did he 
you gain three points. Doesn't seem like it. Thanks for taking this action after it don't matter no more. This is utilizing the range upgrade now. Doesn't actually do anything for me, but it does get me the range upgrade to here so I can build these Gaia's next turn. Hopefully I'll be able to build four Gaia's. I need eight workers for this. Eight. And I'm gonna have four incomes. And two could come from here, and I need to find some more. So maybe I won't be able to do it. Maybe I'll only be able to get six. If I get one from here, where might the other one come from? not passing yet actually. He could pass before me. He's not going to. I need to pick a knowledge track, which I will do in a moment, but let me resolve his turn. He goes up this. Uh, and then I pass, so I have to pick a knowledge track. <coughs> Gets me my extra worker if I forego going up the useful tracks and just get a temporary thing. This would waste a power, but it also gets me closer to three range, which I could use. I'm okay with wasting one power to do that. Maybe. If if I could get to here, that would be nice, but I'm I'm don't have the knowledge for it. All right, let's try and do this. He passes. Uh, he takes the middle. Come on, shuffle. And I passed first. One, two, three, four, five, I had one. And then I need to take the knowledge the the power action. I need to somehow have power for that. That may not be straightforward. I mean, I can get to four here. I could burn. That sucks, but I could burn. Uh, three. Four, another fourth from this. Uh, yeah, there's a charge. And uh, I don't have no money. I almost have no money. Money could actually be a kind of a problem again. Didn't really look at that. And I don't have another thing to rescue me.
it's my turn first. And I just want to build on these. I want to build on these as fast as possible so they don't get stolen. Uh, what's the most likely thing to get stolen? This is going to be close to me. This is not going to get stolen. I can't build here until this this, uh, this is built. Um, I can build on these. Uh, this is likely the most likely thing to get stolen because I'm next to it. So is this. Either of these are fodder for this. So, um, let's try and build those two immediately. I'll start here. Then maybe that'll make it make me get lucky and he'll go here. Maybe. Actually, it doesn't matter at all. Alright. Uh, he's going to get zero points. Okay, good for you. Okay, I get two... Uh, four points plus two points. He upgrades first. That's that's fantastic. Um, where can he upgrade? I don't think he can upgrade anything that is... This is his only... only mine out. And that's the priority, is the mine. So he's gonna upgrade that. Oh, it is next to me. Uh, I can take three power for two points. Um, which I should do. Let's proceed. Actually, at this point, we might try and get this this locked up. It's probably more likely that he could do that instead of build on that square I want. But it's going to take me a long time to, to do it. He gets a point. Did I give him his point? Yeah, okay, he didn't take the one I need. That's good. This is still the more dangerous thing. If he takes one of my planets, he takes one of my planets. He won't. Instead, he'll go here. That's great. I got everything. He didn't uh, fuck with my stuff. You don't have this. Where does it? Where does this go? What is this? Why is this here? He's here. Okay. Yeah, I need to have one more of these. I might have to burn, actually. Look at this prematurely. Two. What happens now? He's up at all he's up at the advance of that track. Oh, the numbered selection skips that because it's ineligible. I got it. Um, okay, so two in the terms of the ones that he can take, which is this. That's fine. <coughs> yeah, I got a burn. I don't need to do it yet. I mean, I probably do need to do it. I actually could do like this. That feels bad. Maybe these are more valuable. I don't know.
because I need them for fed federations. That's like the literal actual win condition to win the game. Oh, and I get uh, I built on a Gaia planet. I get six more points that I didn't take. I took them for one, but not the other. Uh, this I need to build on before I can get to here. That does not cost me an extra ore, as it turns out. Maybe this is my extra money. Uh, it does give me six points. He upgrades again. He has to upgrade into this. Um, so he wants to do it as close to me as possible, which is one of these two. It turns out it's going to be here. And he gains three points. I got six more points. Quite successful at stealing these Gaias. Like, I didn't even manipulate this. I got some fantastic fucking luck. Like, he had to build here, he had to build here. I don't think I even did anything wrong. Like, at the time, yeah, he couldn't get to here with the, the build action yet, so he had to build here, then he had to build here. He just avoided all of these guys, which he... Um, I don't think he ever had a choice, and I didn't calculate that. I mean, you you could say, oh, I knew that, I knew that, I knew that if I did this stuff in this order, he wouldn't have a have a chance to, to build on those. But, like, I mean, I, I expected realistically, you know, I'll win these these, these five what, six Gaia planets? I'll get more than he does, but maybe it'll be like four and two, or five and one would be really great. But I got all six of them. <laughs> it's been all of my fucking ore. All of the extra ore and stuff I've gotten from this game, except not here, because, 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 yeah, zero and zero on these two tech tracks. My techs are... One, three, zero, one, zero, zero. <laughs> but who knows? We'll see if I need these to win the game or not. Three from the left. He's branching out. Good for him. <coughs> I think that having research would be helpful. Maybe having charge would be helpful too. I don't really know what we're doing uh, at, after this point. Like I did all of my scoring already. Terraforming? That doesn't sound like it's going to happen very much, which maybe is a bit of a failure. If I go here and then go here, I could maybe do some terraforming. Where? Here. 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 Oh, this is, this is not close. Here, 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 here. Yeah. Okay. I uh, gotta get a bunch of bunch of power again to do it, but yeah, that's feasible that I could do that. But then I still wouldn't have any any stuff here. It mattered whether I'd take it now or not later, no. Yeah. I'm 
going to have to start uh, start building these federations, but maybe I can wait until the last turn to, to, to do it. But Alright, so planning these federations. Uh, one, two, three, four tokens here. This is not completed. I need to add something to it. This is most buildings, not most satellites, which is a little... This is the thing that I can add to it. I actually, uh, I'll go ahead and did I unnecessarily charge one time this turn? He built here, and let me charge three for two. And I think I needed it at the time, but not now. It's fine. Oh, I that I took a okay, I took my turn and I decided to go up here. And he isn't gone yet. So he's building. Uh he wants to build on Gaia. So he's just gonna build on a Gaia. That's a near Gaia. <laughs> damn it. God damn it. I wanted that to reduce my my federation burden. I guess I can go here. Doesn't really matter. These are the essentially the same. Where is my Gaia former? Here it is. point for that. He's upgrading. Uh, I think he upgrades this, which is, what did he just build? This one. Yeah, for sure he's upgrading that. This is uh, not free. Oh, it is, that's not mine. This is free. I'll take free. These are not here no more. Actually, he didn't do that. He passed. And did I give him a point? Probably not. Maybe I gave him a point. I don't know. I don't I don't keep track of this stuff good at all. So I'll just take a point from him there cuz I probably gave him at least an extra point at some point this game. Yay, just what he needs to do. Take more power actions. Come on, shuffle. He actually passed before I did. I'm going to take the last one. That's fine, I don't care. This in any way. As all I can see that. <coughs> I want that one again. No, I don't want this. He gets two points. That's not a good point total for him at this point. Um, I guess this. 
Uh, this makes sense. I need the resources, and I'm gonna start to need these for for stuff. Uh, at least I have workers now. Plus this one. Plus that one. Alright, so things are, are kind of warming up somewhat. Where he goes first this time. Four from the left. Why? Why does he choose to go up the tracks that he chooses? <coughs> if you know, help me figure it out. Uh, we need to get up to here to start terraforming some shit. Yeah, this will be actually good to... to use some of these One, two, three, four, five, six tokens. And then we have another one. We could build it right away, but I think we're going to build some more shit. Gotta build this first. Upgrades. Three points. I gave him his points already, so I'm not going to give them to him again. Uh, upgrades. Three points. He can upgrade. He has a whiteout. It's this one. That's free power. I have to upgrade something else now. I could build a temple. One, two, three, three knowledge. That's not bad, actually. this. Make sure that I have gold for next turn. Or gold for right now, I don't know. Maybe I need the gold for right now. 
We could wait here and do this and see what happens. Okay, these two. Irrelevant. Um... Now, uh, what is it? Four points. Um, yeah, now I need to either build a trading post or a temple. Or go up this track. And then get two more workers, maybe, from taking this. I feel like that's a little overkill. This was an error, like we discussed. I want to do it in this order. I want to have taken this. I want to take my federation. And it looks like we might need some money. It also looks like we might need some workers. Okay, I only need five. Cool. I did it last turn, now I take this turn. So, ready to take that. Force this. Yeah, yeah, I'll take. No. Because I'm going up. So I'm not taking power here. <laughs> I think I'm going up this twice. got a lot of upgrade cards. That's very fortunate for me that he's not spamming more buildings and stuff. He's again got to upgrade to this. Two in like pretty short succession. Uh, he could he could be here. He could be here. Those are the closest to me. Yeah, that's not a real location. Uh, it looks like he wants to do it here. Uh, again, it's free. I can't take anything because I'm out. Um, 
All right. Now we actually start doing terraforming after we do this. I'll terraform twice. I'll terraform twice where? Here? This looks good. Or this. You know, either one, whatever. Uh, I was supposed to build a trading post and a temple so that I have mines. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm good at this game. It's hard to retcon at this point. Some, a lot of things have happened. It's hard to change it. Um, I guess I could just take these workers so that I can have that happen. Or I could just get this done. Yeah, then after I build here, I'd be able to take another federation this turn here. And then try and build another federation in this area. Which sounds pretty good. This is in range to be cheap. One point and an action. Which one is it? I thought for a moment that was the, the two terraforms. And I was like, no. But I probably won't be using the two terraforms anyway. Build here with my new newfound mine. How many terraforms is this? Two. Two terraforms. Um, build here with my newfound mine. Oh yeah, this is already at fed. I don't want to build here. I want to build like here or here. here that will give me more options, although I don't think I need them right now. Um, two points. Yeah, this turn was a little bit of a bummer. I did just did some stupid things. Okay, oh, I'm a point again. Here he's taking five from the the right. Okay. Might have been important, but not so much anymore. Um, I need to make this federation. It looks like it's going to cost three of these, which is mildly problematic. I don't have this stuff to do rem in the remaining forever with this. Uh, unless I take two more tokens, which means I can't terraform again. I mean, next shape 
next turn I guess I'll be in decent shape. I'll just build some mines and try and get up here and that's it. And maybe build this somehow. Get this thing. <coughs> get up there. Oh, here's two workers. Okay, we'll go take two workers. Now our workers to build here, but no mines. Yeah, I guess that's okay. Uh, no matter what I pick from this, it's not gonna like give me enough workers to. Okay, let's not have gone here, then. Let's go here. We'll try and pick this up. Yeah, this wasn't a very good turn. Not the best of turns that I've ever had. That that building that temple fucked all the things up. Because I was relying on having a mine that I didn't have. And I noticed that at some point. <coughs> I was like, oh, I gotta build a training post. It's fine. And then I didn't build a training post. I spent my money on a temple, which got some things. But, like, I didn't need that extra knowledge this turn. I needed to build build stuff out. I mean, no, extra null. Maybe, maybe what I did was better. I don't know. Um, it's time for me to pass. Um, I will not need that knowledge. I will not need this range. I would like to have probably that. Or this worth two points, three points, or uh, three points or six points. I don't need this knowledge. Might need this worker. Or I could just ensure six points, three points, and not get a worker that I may or may not need in order to get to here. Alright, fine. I pass first. He doesn't pass. He takes two actions. I don't care what actions they are, because I passed. But he gets four points. He upgrades. Oh no, he passes. How many? There's only one card here. Okay. First card. Uh, it doesn't matter. There's no more, no more to take. He gets six points. I got two. Cause I'm great. I'm good at the game. Uh, on the positive side, I am crushing him at both of these objectives. I have not been placing his federations. I guess it's relevant that I should have been placing his federations in case he runs out of space. Uh, so he starts the game I'm p 
picking these totally arbitrarily. I can actually pick these to my benefit if I were paying attention, but it doesn't look like it's it's yeah it's not happening at all. But um, the the good thing is he's losing. <laughs> Uh, technically, he's not losing yet. Are these even relevant? These are for, like, most satellites. His, his score is just going to be his total buildings minus one. Not his satellites. For the satellites thing, it's similar, but... In that case, you can actually run out of space to be able to place a satellite. And you can, as the player, you can just take that to your advantage. If he can't place a satellite, he can't place a satellite. And he doesn't get a satellite placement for his building. Alright. That's 8. That's 9. That's 10. tile may not have been the best choice. We gotta build these. Instead, he didn't have this. He had this. Let's take this. Make it so that we can actually make our federations. Seems like a good idea. Could sacrifice six points, or three points, or whatever. Probably six. Oh, that requires me to get up here. Oh, I have more stuff. These are the more expensive variety. Well, these two are not. These two are cheap enough. But there, I might have to build one of the more No, I don't have to build one of the more expensive variety. I'll just be able to get these two for, for the right price. Three. Glad I did this. Maybe I could have spent an ore to get it. It's fine, whatever. Let's try and compete for these. Before he takes them all. Two, three, four, five, six. 
This one is not a problem. This one is maybe a problem. Now I can take this. If I wanted this thing. I probably want these though. for that shit. He has a mine somewhere. Does he not? He doesn't. <laughs> okay. This direction, his first thing. Here it is. Let's go ahead and dump these so that we can get, this is just power management ordering. That way if we charge, we'll charge better, better quality. I do not need power. What do I need? Perhaps knowledge. Perhaps coins. Um, so coins does look like it could be an issue. Um, I don't necessarily need a lot though. Here we have five height. Uh, and we need to build one more here. Then we'll have six height. Then we need to build here. So in order to get to that, we need to have a total of five money, which we have. It would be nice to maybe build a temple after that. Then we could pick up seven points and get up here. Well, it would be nice to get up to here before that, but I don't know if that's possible. Um, we could pick up this and just get more research. I don't know if that's possible, yeah. These cubes, I don't have any cubes at all. <coughs> so if I took like... After I build a temple, I have another opportunity to build one of these. I guess that's the best I could do. Um, yeah, I think I'd have enough for that. I think I might have enough for that already. Like, that costs me, like, five total things. I would have a huge amount of surplus, surplus whites. Um, so, like, getting more whites doesn't help me, but maybe the best thing I can do, because in order to get to here, I need to have enough research to get to here. Uh, I have to take this thing. This is also worth extra research. So just like forget about this, just take like this or something. Perhaps two knowledge here. And then I like 
Oh, but in order to actually build the temple in the first place, I need to have more more workers than I, more gold than I currently have, because I'll be down five gold to build a temple and a mine. And I'll be down not a temple and a mine, a trading post and a mine, and I'll be down three workers. I'll have six workers left and zero gold. But if I had six workers and six gold. Now we're talking. That would permit me to build a temple or a academy. But if I built a temple, <coughs> five and three, I would have one gold and three workers. Um, and I would need to build, I would need to have five total. Here's an extra gold that I could use. <coughs> oh, I took this. These are gone. All right. So I don't know what to do with, with this then. Hey, this is probably, these are, these are just, That assumes that I get uh, money. In order to do all of that stuff, I got money. The extra two knowledge from this doesn't help me in like any way. I can't get the extra knowledge here because it's gone. But this is eight points. This is seven. And they were all useful points. They moved me up stuff. And I get two more workers, which maybe I can do something with. I don't know. I feel like it's better. I feel like it's straight up better. Um, and I get two more workers here, too. It would help to have a mine available when attempting to do stuff like that. Three points. Take a power action. Okay, whatever. terraforming cost. Take more power actions. All these cubes that I'm not going to use. Um, yeah, now we have nothing. So here's a coin. Uh, we need how many? Three? Three. This is completed, so we might as well burn one, get another coin, and then use these three. That's seven points. Six money. I 
Well, these extra two, no, that wouldn't have helped. No, it's wrong. <laughs> he got all of these. I think there's probably none left in the deck. There is actually one left in the deck. He didn't get the build mines one. Um. Gave him points. Yeah, I did. <coughs> and I built another one of these trading posts, right? No, not yet. It's just coming, though. I don't really care what he upgrades, I'm not taking it. Not taking power, I mean. <coughs> um, what's my plan here? Oh, I took something. Whatever. This. Does this help me? Was I allowed to take this? If I did it in a more correct order, yes. So that's, yeah, that's worth points. Never mind. This is, this is, it did stuff in incorrect order here, but this is easy to fix. Uh, you retcon this so that I had done this first to go up here, and then I'm in the right spot that I can take that tile. Flip one of these. And I get these two knowledge, which kind of worth nothing. They're coins, I guess. I could do something with. Oh, I actually have enough to like build another. Well, I want this, this trading post, but the, maybe a temple is more valuable. I don't care if this is in the right spot or not, because it doesn't matter. There's no world in which this will ever affect anything. And I gave him his points. I, mean, I couldn't even take power if I wanted to. There's nothing here. Yeah, so I mean, um, this is seven points compared to this three points. So why would I build this last trading post? that I have when I could get seven points and four more points and charge some non-existent power with my remaining currency. I didn't really notice I could do that until the last minute. And that's all I'm going to be able to do. So he gets two more points. Advancing a random, this is relevant. Uh, he can he can advance this one, so he doesn't really get points for that, for like his state on the track. Uh, and I pass. I don't get anything. I do actually get nine points for that. This looks like it's probably he's winning. Uh, five from the left. 
he again doesn't get points from it. He gets zero points here. He can pass. He gets one point. And he'll go up his best track, which is now this. So that gives him we'll give him endgame points. Here he passes. Okay. <clears throat> and he gets six more points. I may have given him like points that he didn't deserve. Okay, I obviously won both of these two categories, just to make perfectly sure. This is his number of buildings minus one. I'm just checking to see that that works the way I thought it did with the satellites and stuff. Builds a mine was not pla was placed a planet not adjacent to an atomic structure. Placed a satellite. Yeah, weird, weird ass shit that doesn't. <coughs> Usually, this is not a thing that's relevant. Um. So. One, two, three, four, five, six buildings on board. I've. How many of these are in federations? Christ. Oh. Uh, why do I have only three of these? What's the other one I took? I took gold? I think I took gold again. I took both of these gold ones, yeah. So I get seven points more than I currently have. I didn't give myself the. I gave myself the gold, but I didn't give myself the points. I'm pretty sure that that's correct. Um, yeah. So. Um, I beat him on this category, <laughs> and then I beat him in this category. He's got one, and I've got seven. Um, meaning that I beat the neutral player too. I'm sure that I have more than ten of these. Everything I have it is in a federation, so I have more than ten buildings gone. In fact, uh, there are eighteen buildings here. I have fourteen buildings gone. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Um, <coughs> and they're all in federations. So I have eighteen. 36, and he has, he lost to the neutral player in both objectives, which is a little weird. Uh, 17, and somehow it looks like he's still beating me. Uh, yeah, because he's, he's got me on the tech stuff. I didn't emphasize, I didn't go up this track at all. Um, I have 12, 20 points. And he's going to get 24. 49 Even if I made mistakes, this probably isn't a gap that I would have made up. Uh, I have anything? This is not enough points to matter. I mean, yeah, 
I don't think that I I failed to to count a lot of things that I should have gotten. So uh is Gleans the worst faction in the game? Certainly it's the Atama Lantids is probably worse. There's there's not much redemption for Lantids. But uh yeah, I thought this this setup was somewhat favorable for Gleans, but in order to play Gleans here, I didn't do some things that I would usually do, like go on either the economy or research track. Uh, and I went for all of these, tried to build my economy by building all these early Gaia planets, which seems like that's a thing that would be pretty good, because you don't have to terraform them. They have, like, very cheap terraforming costs, or all things considered. And I had to make, like, decisions at various points. Okay, so you know one thing about this? If I had gone up this research track and had one knowledge income the entire game, instead of uh what I actually did because on the very first turn he took this where is it this power action to get two workers that was pretty critical the game might have looked very different or it might not have looked all that different it might have been the difference for instance to make me be able to get up to this tile and that could have swung the game but I'm I'm not complaining about how it worked out. That was something that happened pretty early and I had a lot of time to try and think about it. But yeah. Gleans not such a good faction. Not not as flexible as they seem and not focusing on knowledge is is harmful. Did I play the game wrong? I don't know. I mean, I know the Gleans are not a good faction. It's hard to figure out exactly how, how this should have gone. Was there, Were there things that I could have done? I don't know. Tell me. Tell me in... in let me know in the comments. And fig we... If there are glaring errors that I should have played in a different way that I could have calculated and could have been able to win the game... then tell me tell me how you would do it i'm not i'm not the best guy a project player that ever lived i'm sure of that uh maybe there maybe the guys on board game geek that that claim a bunch of things and and think that they can beat me all the time well they they claim a the, the not me they they claim that they could get to a certain score that would normally beat me um, because I usually can score around the 160 range kind of thing on a good day. Um, sometimes worse if people are just playing weird things in order to just block each other all the time. In a like in a real an over the board game with real real players. Um, and also that game has more power kind of things. There's there's factors involved. But I don't think I'm the best guy a project player out there. But I think I'm a pretty decent guy a project player. And um despite my lack of experience with this faction, I feel like I gave this a pretty good shot and I felt like I was like getting things done. It just wasn't worth points and especially it wasn't worth points because of these damn research track points they add up so anyway there you have it itars the atama i failed to crush they crushed me by a score of 157 to 146 itars defeat gleans on the Ultoma difficulty. Have a terrible day, you terrible people.